Hey guys, Angela Mosley here with another workout for you today. Another strength pet, super fun timing. We're gonna work through five moves, 30 seconds of work for one, 60 seconds for another, 90 seconds for our third move, and then 60, 30, and then we take a longer break. So by all means, at any time, please feel to take a break, pause the video, and join us back up when you are ready to go. What you'll need today is a mat if you're working out on a hard surface, a set of dumbbells. I've got a medium to heavy. I'm gonna play around, see how I'm feeling, which way I wanna go, and then um, just a space and some water, of course. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. We're gonna go ahead and do it, um, run into arm circles. Oh, don't forget to start your watch to track your progress. <clears throat> Just swinging those arms. So we got two sets today, some core movement, upper body, chest, triceps, biceps, legs. We got it all. A little burst of cardio, not a ton, but we're still gonna get that heart rate up meaningfully. All right, let's swing it to the front. that core the whole time. All right, let's flat those wings over and under. Let's get those shoulders nice and warm. We want to take care of them. We want to keep them healthy. All right, let's go into a squat. So as we squat, we lift the arms up and we exhale. We're moving at a faster pace, again, to get that heart rate slightly up. You go at the pace that you need. 10 more seconds here. We're gonna go into a side lunge with a knee drive. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna do a side lunge. We're gonna go to a side lunge in three, two, and one. Side lunge, tap, side lunge, tap. Let's add an upright row, because why not? I know we don't have the weights in our hands, but we're still mimicking some of the movements we're gonna get through today, okay? As we blow that air out. Five more seconds here. Three, one more, and done. Front lunge. Alternating sides, right and then left. Front leg comes parallel. Ten seconds. We're going to go into some high knee runs. Three, two, and one. All right, so let's get those knees up as we pump those arms. Option here is just to march it. Just take that hop out. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's punch it out. Let's get that upper body a little more warm. Our first move 30 seconds, we're gonna hit the core with a bicycle crunch and a three second hold, one on each side. So we've got three reps, one, two, three, we hold, three, two, one, and we repeat it. Give me four, three, two, one. All right, let's grab a drink quickly. We're gonna come down to the ground making sure that low back is connected to the floor. Bring those out, the tips of the fingers to the head, where you circle, cycle, hold. Three, two, one, repeat. One, two, three, hold. Three, two, one. Okay, option. Leave the feet on the ground and you hold. Three, two, one, repeat. You just keep going at your pace. Make sure that low back connected to the floor. I should not be able to put my fingers underneath my back and neither should you and rest. 
See, super simple, super quick. All right, bring it on up. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna grab two hand weights. We're gonna go into a sumo squat with an upright row. Super basic, super simple. Toes out, knees out, chest, roll it up. Bring it down, upright row. Push those knees out. Tuck the butt booty under. Help those adductors to lift you up, to pull you in, and squeeze the glutes. So we are here for one full minute. So get those elbows up and out. Keep that chest up nice and proud. We are halfway there. If you're getting tired, do one at a time, okay? Or maybe you do one sumo, one upright, sumo, upright, okay? So many ways to advance, regress, movements, 10 seconds, we've got our 90 seconds coming up, and rest, okay, so drop your weights down, we're going to place it at the top of our mat, we're going to pick it up, we're going to curl, press, drop it down, walk it out, one push up, one, two, three, four climbers, and then we walk it back. Okay, we are moving. So it's 90 seconds total. Take your time with these movements. One, two, three, four. Walk it back. Curl, press. Option, drop it to your knees for that push up, and then step it in. One, two, three, Four. Walk it back. Come up with that chest up before you pick those weights up, okay? So it's like we're going into a very deep squat. Pick them up, curl, press. Bring them down. Walk it out to a full plank, then drop it to your knees if you need to. So I'm looking straight in front of me to see what's going on. We are more than halfway. We have only 30 seconds left. Give me one more curl at least. Press and drop it down. Rest. Okay. Our next move is a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. We curl. We open up. We drop it down. Okay. It's gonna be a doozy. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna change it to a unilateral movement, but we're not. Right leg is in front. Lunge. Curl. Side raise. Down. Drive, lunge, curl it, bring it back down, side raise, drop, down, drive that knee. So option here, you can step it in. And if doing the curl and the side raise is better for you at the top, and then you go into a lunge, by all means, please do that, okay? Otherwise, curl in that lunge, drop it so you do that side raise, drive. those shoulder blades together. You've got 20 seconds to go. I was gonna try and be a baby and do one arm, because I know this is spicy, especially on that side raise. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna bring it down to the ground. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. Our 30 seconds is a dead bug to a chest press. Oh, it's leaking on me. Roll down. So feet are up in the air. As I press up, I drop one leg down, okay? You have the option to do two legs at a time. So I totally could have gotten heavier here and working those chests, so I will go heavier for the next round. You also have the option of tapping. So 
you could tap the ground, or you could do both legs at one time, okay? Whatever you do, make sure that your low back is connected to the ground. I can't fit my fingers in there. And rest. All right, we're gonna stay here because we're gonna go back to that cycle crunch. So grab a drink if you need it. We gotta repeat this circuit. So again, maybe you fix your pelvis, fingertips at the head. One, two, three, three, two, one. Blow that air out. Another thing, please do not use your hands to pull on your neck or your head. It's simply there just for placement for your elbows. I see a lot of this, and we don't want that, okay? Just right here. Just placing them there for extra, a little extra support. And rest. All right, bring it up. We've got that sumo squat with that upright row. Toes out, knees out. Roll your shoulders down and back. Drop it down. Bring it up. Maybe do a little pulse. And then you squeeze the top. You can do so many different things here to intensify the move. Or you add a jump. And then lift up. Okay? Options. I love providing options to regress or make it more intense. I'm going to skip just that single sweat. But if you're doing your jumps, you are a rock star. We are more than halfway. You got 20 seconds. The heavier you go the more challenging it's gonna be, okay? You sit here and say, oh, that workout, that was too easy, but you didn't go heavier. Go heavier, try it again. All right, go ahead and rest, and let me know, okay? Or add that jump in. It's another great way to, to intensify it. All right, we've got that squat down, pick up, roll press, drop it down, walk it out, one push up, four climber. You move in three, one, pick up the weights, curl, press, drop it down, walk it on out, one push up, one, two, three, four, walk back, same thing, curl, press, it's amazing what our bodies can do when we think about it and we challenge ourselves to do it. Curl, press. We are halfway there. 45 seconds to go. Maybe your option, drop it to your knees if you need to. elbows and then drop it down. You got 30 seconds to go. Whew. Let's 
legs. Curl halfway. Ha! Shoulders. We're almost there. Ten seconds. Three. So we got one more set and rest. I meant to say one more rep and we rest. We bring it down. We've got that chest press glute bridge. Oh, I did say I was going to go heavier, didn't I? I'm going to go heavier. I'm going to challenge myself. All right, let's do it. Drop it. If doing these two movements is too much for you, focus in on that chest press, okay? Get rid of the dead bug and just do your chest press. Or maybe you add a glute bridge to it. We are doing a glute bridge later and our second circuit. Go ahead and rest. So it's not like you had any time anyway. Sometimes I forget how much is on that timer. Okay, grab a drink. We're gonna come into some bear jacks. So hands under shoulders, we're gonna knees under hips. We're gonna jump it out, so out and in. New move, new circuit. If you needed a longer break, pause the video and join us when you're ready. Option, tap, tap, drop it down, reset. Tap, tap, down and reset. You have 15 seconds. Use your hands to push away from the floor. Five. And rest. Curtsy, lunge, kick, butt, kick, back. Grab your two weights. Right leg is in front. We are going to step back, row it up, kick it out and end, okay? Curtsy, row. As we kick into that kickback, so row, we kick the butt, okay? Balance work. It is needed. If you don't like it, take it out and just do your curtsy with whoop, the kickback. I got myself all messed up there. Curtsy, row, kick the butt, kick back. So just take out that kick butt. But still do those triceps, okay? You've got 20 seconds to go. Row, kick, ooh, balance. Did you see that? That's why it is so important to keep an eye on our core, even instructors and personal trainers get messed up sometimes. Go ahead and rest. Okay, staggered deadlift, we need one weight. I'm gonna go heavier, why not? One weight, stagger, row, step out, squat, press, swing, tricep overhead, all right? Join me, so staggered deadlift, row, bring it up, squat curl, press, Bring it back to center. Swing and tricep overhead. So you can go a little bit heavier here because we're doing one arm only. And that tricep part is definitely going to be a little spicy. That's okay. Turn, swing, tricep overhead. Swing. So before I swing, I bring my foot back in to get myself set up for that deadlift. I rotate that bottom heel, step it in, swing, tricep overhead. So all while keeping my core braced and engaged. Row. You have 10 seconds. 
we can get in at least this final rep. Maybe do one more deadlift with a row and rest. Okay, place that weight down. We're gonna go with one weight again. A little, a little lighter because it goes away from the body. So we're gonna go into a squat pulse, push those knees out, bring it up to chest, press. You know what, forgive me. Squat pulse, bring it up, press, press. Focus on that chest. So squeeze it like a fist if you have to feel to make sure that it is working. I know that sounds super silly, but seriously, full arm workout and chest across the body. We'll go one lighter. Blowing that air out. Core is engaged. We're pushing those knees out. We've got 20 seconds. We're going to drop it down to the ground. We've got a glute bridge with a chest fly. All right. Let's grab two weights. Glute bridge with a chest fly. So as we bridge up, we open, we fly, we lift. We got five seconds. Three, two, one, bridge, open, close, down. You can intensify this by adding a loop band if you wanted, or by holding the hips up the whole time. If you really wanted, just why not? And rest, drop those weights down. We gotta go back to the top. We got those bear jacks, we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna grab my drink real quick. All right, guys. Last set, last move, last however many minutes of work. I don't even know. I lost track. Hands under shoulders. We're jacking it out, knees under hips. I wanna move it up a little bit. Make sure I'm not hitting those weights. Shoulders push the ground away from you. You have 10 seconds. And drop it down. All right, bring it back up. We've got that curtsy kick as we kick that butt other side. Grab your weights. Left leg in the front. Pull the shoulders down and back. Front seat, kick, down. So, controlling those weights. So, because you have that balance work that you're doing, you're going to want to swing those weights in. Let's not do that, okay? We are in control, we control the weights, they don't control us. And if they are controlling you, you went a little bit too heavy, okay? So be mindful of that. 15 seconds to go. I almost lost my balance again. Three. Okay, we have that staggered deadlift. A little heavier. So we're gonna pop that right foot. We stagger, we row, step out, rotate, swing, and tricep. Let's do it. Pop that foot, stagger, row, step out, press as we rotate, step it in. Swing, tricep overhead, and repeat.
Whew. Swing. Making sure to pop that heel, rotate it. We're halfway there. Thirty seconds to go. Make this movement count. We're here for ninety seconds for a reason because there's a lot of things going on, a lot of different movements, a lot of different angles. Swing. Ten seconds. Then we get in one more deadlift. Side squat, rotation, and rest. All right, grabbing one lighter weight. We're gonna go back into that squat pulse with that press out on the right side. Okay? All right, squat pulse, press two times, and back down. Is these last two moves of our workout wasn't too bad, just a little bit of cardio, not much. I'm not the biggest fan of cardio, I like it, I know it's important, but it is not my favorite. I would much rather do strength training all day long. 10 seconds. Alright, we're gonna go down into a glute bridge with a chest fly as our final movement of the day. Bring it down. Remember your option, grab a loop band if you want. Make sure those heels are close to the butt. Or you have the option of holding it up in the air. Bring those weights up and let's get started. Lift, fly, together, down. Almost there. And put those weights down, drop it. Let's cool it off. Let's take those legs out reach out in front and just reach, 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 opposite walls. Let's go ahead, bring one leg in towards us, hold it here. And just hold. Right, let's go ahead, take that foot. We're gonna take it up and hold again, getting a nice stretch in the back of the body. You haven't changed, you stayed the same. But if you did, I'd still love you anyway. And release, drop it down the other side. So pull it in. I'd give you the world like I promised if I would. Breathe. One side is a little bit stickier than the other. Let's go ahead do into the same. lying figure four. Let's get those outer glutes. Okay. 
legs, drop it down. We're gonna switch, drop that leg. I'm gonna move this weight out of the way. Fingertips out, just a little spinal rotation. All right, brace the core to bring it back up and let's switch sides. So the other foot goes on top, pull it in. Stretch out those shoulders. Did it in quite a bit of work. Don't forget to refuel your body. Make sure you drink plenty of water. And continue stretching if you need to. Switch those legs. Don't want you to skip out on your stretch. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with a girlfriend. And make sure to let me know what you enjoyed, what you'd like to see next. A new, uh, new video is posted every single Monday morning at 7 a.m. All right, release it. Bring the feet back together. Roll the shoulders down and back. And let's bring it to the front, round the back. And release. Let's go ahead, come into a quick child's pose. So toes together, knees out wide, reach the hands out in front. And go ahead, come back up. We're gonna go into a downward facing dog. We're gonna stretch out those calves. Dropping one heel at a time. Maybe you pause for a moment because it feels good and walk it back up to the top. Hold for just a moment, shake the head out, and roll it on up, and wiggle it out, wiggle, shake all that tension out. Get silly with it, get your kids doing it, whatever you gotta do to let go of that stress. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with a girlfriend, share with another mom that needs a quick and effective workout. I'll see you next time, bye.